Hey, what's up everybody? This is Vic, your inner peace and manifestation coach. And today, I'm gonna talk to you about how crying like a bitch is your ticket to freedom. Now, we're coming, we're living in a time where there's, there's a lot of heavy energy happening right now. I don't know about you guys, but I've had a lot of stuff come up. And I know most people, and I used to do this too, uh, we try to distract ourselves, right? Whether it's watching TV or drinking or smoking or whatever it is that you do, to cope with your situation, well, what we're doing when we do that is we're actually resisting uh, the feeling. And and I get it, right? It's painful, you know, we don't wanna go there, we don't wanna have to feel uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, that's really your only way out. Because if you don't do that, you know, then you are, then the emotion stays in you, right? If you think about it, every day we have experiences, and every experience creates an emotion. So we have happy emotion experiences, we have sad experiences, we have excited experiences, we have angry experiences. And if all of these emotions aren't truly expressed or felt through, well, then they stay in you. So, so what we're trying to do, right, is to be able to just sit with the feeling. And a lot of times when you're, when you do that, your mind shows up and it, the thoughts that show up in your mind are equal to the feeling. So if you're scared, it's going to be saying things like, I'm scared, I don't know what to do, how are we going to get through this time? And you can just spiral off in that direction. But if you just sit with the feeling, right, and just be okay with feeling that way, when you're getting in that thought pattern, you're just resisting the feeling still. And you really just want it to like, ground into your body and just feel it as uncomfortable as it is and i and it's probably going to make you cry right because a lot of these emotions that are coming up for us right now in this quarantine environment are really emotions from the past they're emotions from the past that you did not deal with so you want to be able to sit with it you want it to be okay with feeling that feeling instead of feeling that something is wrong with you or that you know uh you shouldn't be feeling this way for whatever reason. Just be okay with feeling that way. And now look, depending on the situation, it may the feeling may go away in a few hours, it may go away in a day, it may go away a little bit longer, but the more you just kind of sit with it and be there and just kind of not get caught up in the thoughts of it, but really just put your awareness, your thoughts, I mean your, put your attention on your body, in your body you're allowing this energy to be released finally and sometimes you got to cry and sometimes you got to write some stuff down to, to help you uh, get this out of you and and it's okay right I can tell you I've been doing this for a long time I still cry sometimes but a lot of times now I can just sit with the feeling and and let it just be there until it goes away and I try not to give as much attention with it. I am a little bit irritable when, it, when I'm in these situations, but at the same time, I'm still not getting caught up with it. So it's really important to be gentle with yourself. It's really important to be okay with whatever you're feeling and whatever's coming up, because honestly, that's what's gonna get you out of this. That's your ticket to inner peace. That's your ticket to freedom, to be able to just sit with it. If you gotta cry, fucking cry, right? It's not a big deal. We just, it, it doesn't mean anything. It just means that you're letting go of some energy. And, and the more you can just sit with it and be okay with the feeling, the more, the, the quicker you'll be able to release it and the quicker you'll be able to um, free yourself from this energy and open up a whole new amount of space for you to create and do whatever it is you wanna do without having the attention on whatever it is, whatever emotion um, is coming up. And the more we can do that, the more we can live in the moment, the more we can be here right now where depression and anxiety can exist. All right, let's so check this out.